having a trellis installed on a wall is a quick and easy way to visually break a bland wall or even provide structure for climbing plants or even decorative ornaments. Today, I discuss the different methods on how to mount your trellises. For this installation, you'll need a drill driver with an 8mm wood bit, a hammer action or SDS drill with a 10mm masonry bit, an 8x75mm coach screws and plugs and a spanner to fit, a spirit level, tape measure and a pencil. These trellises have been pre-treated with the Woodock Marine 50. This is a hard-wearing outdoor sealant which is UV resistant and will help extend the life of the timber. If you're wanting to use your trellis purely for decorative use, then we can mount the trellis flush to the wall. I'm going to drill an 8mm hole through the sides of the frame, about 100mm from the top and bottom, two at the top and two at the bottom. If your trellis is going to be exposed to the rain, then I suggest you drill some drainage holes in the recessed groove at the bottom as we don't want water to be left standing in here. I've asked Kevin to help me hold the trellis and use the spirit level to ensure it's level. I can then mark the holes in the wall and drill out the holes with a 10mm masonry bit. We can then put the plugs in and secure the trellis to the wall using some 75mm coach screws and tighten them with a spanner. And there we have it, our trellis is looking beautiful. However, if you want to train climbers or attach air plants and so forth to the trellis, we need to have a gap at the back for air circulation. Let me show you a method how. So let's remove this trellis. I'm going to change the coach screws for a larger 125 mm coach screws and drill the holes slightly larger. I'm going to then slip a pre-cut 50 mm piece of conduit over each screw and then we can reattach the trellis. So our trellis is up using the spacing method and again, the trellis is looking great. But this space here helps the air move freely between the trellis and the plants and the main benefit of this is for air circulation and of course cooling. So the third method is a hanging trellis and for this I've used hooks with a pair of 6mm eye bolts which I'll secure to the trellis after drilling 6mm holes with the wood bit. Same as earlier, I've drilled a few drainage holes in the bottom of the framework and then measured where I want the trellis to hang, as well as the exact distance between the eye bolts and checked if we were level. I then drilled 12mm holes and secured the hooks onto the wall. And I can now hang the trellis onto the hooks. So our trellis is up and like before, there is some space for some air movement. However, this method is not ideal if installed in a windy area as the trellis is free to swing in a way. But I do like how we've taken some heavy duty hooks and turned them into a soft attachment like we've done here. I like it. All that's outstanding is for me to grab myself some trailing plants and help guide them up this lovely trellis. However, this flower display does bring in a more classy look. Now remember, Builders has a wide range of both timber and plastic trellis options available in store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.